Hey everyone, welcome back to this here channel. Today we're putting Bitdefender under the microscope. It's a name that's been around for a while in the whole antivirus world, and a lot of people swear by it. But with new viruses popping up all the time, I wanted to see if Bitdefender still lives up to the hype. In this video, I'll walk you through its features, discuss where it excels and where it could use a bit of work, and break down their plans and pricing. If you end up finding this review helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of my straightforward takes. I try to provide you guys with the most honest no nonsense reviews to help you make really good well-informed decisions and if you're interested in trying out Bitdefender check out the link in the description for a discount you won't get charged for it I will get something out of it as well and it helps support the channel so check it out if you're down now let's jump into Bitdefender's pricing and features one of the standout aspects is that every plan comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee this means you can test it out with zero risk there's also a free version of Bitdefender, which is impressive for being free. It covers Windows, Android, and Mac, making it a good starting point if you're not ready to commit just yet. However, if you're looking for more serious protection and features, investing in one of the paid plans is the way to go. For Windows users, the Bitdefender antivirus plan is a strong way to start. Starting at $24 for a single device for the first year, it's a solid option. And don't forget, there's a discount link in the description for additional savings. This plan provides comprehensive protection against malware, spyware, adware, and ransomware. It's designed to tackle a wide range of threats from viruses to Trojans and even Brad Pitt's. Now, the Antivirus Plus plan doesn't just stop at malware protection. It also includes a limited VPN and Bitdefender's safe pay feature, which I use a lot actually. So what this does is it just opens an encrypted browser where you can do your online transactions securely. I love it. Now, the vulnerability assessment tool scans for potential security issues like outdated software and missing Windows patches. Additionally, advanced threat defense monitors your system for suspicious behavior, and the ransomware protection feature helps protect your important files by just backing them up. If you're managing a household or have kids, you might want to consider the Bitdefender Internet Security Plan. Priced at 50 bucks for the first year and covering three devices, it adds an extra layer of protection with a firewall wall and parental controls. Through Bitdefender Central, you can remotely manage and monitor your kids' online activity. This feature is especially useful for keeping an eye on their browsing habits and making sure that they stay safe online. For those of us juggling multiple devices across different platforms, the Bitdefender Total Security Plan is a great choice. It covers up to five devices across Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, with the first year cost set at $60. I personally use this plan and have really found it incredibly beneficial. It includes all the features from antivirus plan and adds a device optimizer, which made a noticeable difference in my computer's performance. It helps clean up space, repair system registries, optimize browser settings, and fine tune other aspects of my PC for better speed and just efficiency. If you have a larger family or multiple devices, the Bitdefender family pack might be more suitable. It covers up to 15 devices for $70 a year. And for those seeking top security with additional perks, the Bitdefender Premium Security Plan is definitely worth taking a gander at. Starting at 80 bucks for the first year, it goes up to 120 with added features like identity theft protection, bank card alerts, and investment accounts monitoring. This plan also includes a password manager and an unlimited VPN, which is perfect for those who want comprehensive coverage and extra layers of security. When it comes to the user experience, Bitdefender stands out for how simple it is and how effective it is. I've been using total security on all my devices, and while the installation file is a bit large, the setup process is smooth and pretty straightforward. The interface is user-friendly, even for those who aren't particularly tech savvy. Navigating the app is super easy. It's divided into three main tabs, protection, privacy, and utilities. Under protection, you'll find real-time protection, firewall settings, and ransomware defenses. I ran several scans, and while the quick scan took about three minutes, the full system scan took around 30 minutes. Bitdefender did a thorough job detecting and removing the test malware I threw at it. The privacy tab is where you'll find the VPN, safe pay, and parental controls. The 
VPN is useful for rerouting your IP address, though the free version is limited to 200 megabytes a day unless you opt for a premium plan. There are also tools to secure your microphone, webcam, and browser, which just adds an extra layer of privacy. Whenever I use the software for recording my voice, here's a little behind the scenes thing, a Bitdefender always lets me know that the app has started using my microphone. So it's nice and convenient. Under the utilities tab, you'll find tools for device optimization, profile management, and a file shredder. The optimization tools are particularly noteworthy because they adapt to your hardware and allow you to set profiles for different activities, such as gaming. I saw a noticeable improvement in performance across all of my devices, though I did find the Mac app slightly less polished compared to the Android version. When comparing Bitdefender to something like Norton though, both offer strong features and reliable support. However, Bitdefender does have an edge with its expert community platform, which provides specific help from other people who also use the app. Generally, Bitdefender is more budget-friendly and suits personal use well, while Norton leans more towards businesses with a broader range of options. In my tests, Bitdefender demonstrated a slight advantage in detecting and removing malware without causing significant slowdowns. While Norton was superior with its VPN and password management tools, Bitdefender excels in anti-phishing, anti-spam, and anti-ransomware protection. It consistently performs well in independent lab tests and offers a strong overall performance with a lot of advanced features. So what's my verdict? Well, Bitdefender is still undoubtedly one of the top players in the antivirus game. The free version is already impressive, but the paid plans take things up a notch with a variety of protection and additional features. It's user-friendly, effective, and stays on top of the latest threats. I've relied on it for a while and have been thoroughly pleased with its performance. If this review helped you out, guys, make sure to like and subscribe for more honest reviews and updates. Feel free to leave any questions or thoughts about Bitdefender in the comments. I'm always eager to hear from you and we'll try to respond as quickly as i can and if you decide to give bitdefender a try don't forget to use the affiliate link in the description for a discount as always thank you so much for watching folks and until next time do make sure to take care